The Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most unique and biologically diverse ecosystems. The reef is resilient, which means it has a natural ability to recover from environmental impacts, but it is increasingly under pressure. Climate change, coastal development, land-based runoff from agriculture, overfishing and illegal fishing, and marine debris are affecting the reef. Today we're focusing on land-based runoff. So what is land-based runoff? Runoff is water that flows from the land into waterways. When runoff flows into the waterways, it can pick up contaminants, including sediments, nutrients and pesticides. Coral reefs grow best in waters that have naturally low concentrations of nutrients and sediments. This is why runoff is one of the most significant threats to the long-term health and resilience of the Great Barrier Reef. So land-based runoff is basically any rainfall that falls on the, the Great Barrier Reef catchment generally makes its way out to the reef, either over land, across the, the top of the landscape, through rivers and wetlands, or into the ground through groundwater. The way we've changed the landscape is resulting in, in water flowing off the catchment at a much faster rate. And not only is it going off faster and in bigger quantities, but it's also taking things like topsoil, nutrients, pesticides and other chemicals with it. Well, sediments and nutrients are a natural part of the system, but in excess they can be a problem. Nutrients promote the productivity of the inshore reef, but if we get too much of it, it can actually become toxic and it can actually kill uh, parts of the reef. In the same way, sediments you know, can smother seagrass and corals, uh, blocking out light and, and kill those animals. Well, even in your own backyard, you can make a difference. So looking at the way uh, water flows on your property, you know, if uh, runoff from your roof is better off to go into the ground than into the stormwater system. You can help improve the quality of water that flows from the land to the ocean. Look after your local wetlands and ecosystems. Improve the quality of water from your school by building wetlands and picking up litter. Join an environmental group and revegetate your local environment to slow the flow. Get your school involved in drain stenciling to raise awareness that your drains lead to the Great Barrier Reef. For more tips on how you can improve water quality, visit www.gbrmpa.gov.au